Hey guys, did- Oh wait, sorry. Uh, wrong video. Hold on, let me switch that. Hello Guardians, the Night Flyer here. I know it's been a while since I've made a video, but I thought I'd chime in and make another little rant video real quick, since I was going to miss three uh, Saturdays in a row, I believe, so yeah, here we are. Today's topic I actually thought a lot about last night, so however much of last night's conversation in my head being translated here today before you in this video is uh, probably really low. I'm sorry if that made no sense. But anyway, today I thought I'd talk about the patrol spaces in Destiny and obviously the lack of Crucible and Gambit maps and how each of them can complement each other. Now, I don't know about you, but like, when it comes to locations, like sure it's cool to have Destiny be an open world kind of game and you get to explore all this cool stuff, but honestly, are some of these big maps still really needed after like four years? Like I know new people are coming into the game and stuff, but like especially like the EDZ and all that, they're like massive. I don't know, like maybe it's just me that feels like that maybe like they should start repurposing some of these areas instead of like having them all in game and do this that and the other like I, here's the suggestion. Basically split up the um, current patrol areas into like Crucible and Gambit maps. So like you still have obviously the patrol version of it and then you can also have the um, Crucible Gambit version of it but obviously that depends on various factors but I think like there could be some cool interesting maps that could be made especially for Gambit like with some of the areas that we go to you know and like obviously like if we were to go the polar opposite way and say, oh, let's just remove destinations altogether, why would we do that and, like, what would we even keep? Think about it this way, right? Let's say uh, tomorrow Bungie announced that EDZ was getting removed on, in, like, Season 15, right? Imagine, uh, you know, let, let, let's go to a Lost Sector, right? The one that's, like, just underneath Brakasan's ship, right? If you go into that Lost Sector, as far as I'm aware, it takes a while for it to actually register that you're in the Lost Sector. So just trim that, right, starting from when the Lost Sector starts and end, and have that be its own activity. Like, maybe put it into Direct or something as well, you know? Because, like, th this is obviously a suggestion, so, like, not everything would be deleted. There'd still be some stuff for it, especially because, like, Lost Sectors in recent time have actually been, like, the most useful useful sources for like good stuff lately you know well i say that but i've only played each like lost sector five times now uh, just for my exotics this time around but i guarantee you next season if they add another three i'm gonna be back on that lost sector grind when i'm done like the main story beat of like the first week of next season but anyway uh, obviously there's that patrols themselves will probably just have to just not exist if that happened as well but honestly you never know maybe they could just keep like little areas and be like oh this little area in particular needs to be patrolled and you can do that but again it'd be weird just having like a small little crucible map with patrols on it like i think like again there is potential that some areas of like existing patrol zones could be used as um crucible gambit maps uh, going back to like the Firebase Hades, I think it uh, they call it on the EDZ, like I think the middle part of that where the server spawns, that could be like where the bank is and they could have like all these cabal different like barriers and barricades and all that stuff all around it and like maybe they could make it like a big gambit map as well where it's like oh you can use vehicles to go from one side to another. I, I just think that'd be, it'd be a cool idea anyway just to see if they'd go into that. I know that there's also some potential for crucible maps out of that as well even though like if I'm being more honest like Maybe they should just bring back the ones that they already removed, but hey, what do I know, man? I'm not really PvP main, or even Gambit main either. I'm just talking out my own ass at this point, just because I'm playing some Gambit in the background now, which is probably shocking looking, because I actually haven't really played Destiny properly in a while, hence why I haven't been uploading, obviously. But when it comes down to it, the um, a map, like a crucible map idea that I think of right now. Obviously Europa would have to stay in the game, like, and like the Forsaken locations and the um, uh, uh, Moon, because that's Shadowkeep's location, because they're all paid for, you know? It'd be weird if they just suddenly removed them. But obviously there's still like Nessus and EDZ and, you know, maybe you could get rid of them. Like, especially... When you think about it, right, they could bring back the Leviathan, but just bring back Menagerie, and everybody would actually be alright with that. Like, obviously, it'd be a shame that they don't bring back the other raids, but honestly, having Menagerie as a free activity for people would be just tops. It'd be a nice, like, middle ground between, oh, I'm just a casual solo player, to, like, finally getting into raids, because it's like, oh, the Menagerie's so much fun, and I don't even have to talk to people that much, but I can still do it, and 
so on and so forth, you know? But anyway, sorry, let's talk about that Crucible map idea on Europa. Basically, a lot of the exoscience uh, facility, them areas I think would be really, really cool as um, actual, like, Crucible maps, you know? There's just something about them, and there's, like, a lot of obstacles in them as well, and a lot of height and stuff, so you'd be going up and down. I Again, I just think these things would be kind of cool. I don't know how balancing would affect it, like, what they'd have to do to the map to make it more balanced, but, eh, you know what, Bungie, you could do you at that point, you know? I'm not gonna lie, I'm starting to draw a blank now. There's a lot more stuff I wanted to say, but I can't remember it now. Obviously, there's the extreme end of, like, just completely removing Gambit if they're just not even gonna bother to update it. You know? Like, obviously, there's new Gambit weapons, so they must be, like, at least trying to keep Gambit active to a certain degree, but I don't know, man. I just, I would love to see, like, the Gambit maps come back, like, because it's been a long time. I think the only two they have is, like, the Nessus one and the Titan one. I swear, like, no other exists. Okay, never mind. I just remembered I played on the Emerald Coast, so that exists as well, but, you know? Like, three maps, man. And, like, PvP, like, people think they have it bad in Crucible, man. Poor Gambit people, like, are just struggling like hell out here. Um, when it comes to the patrols, uh, or patrol areas, sorry. Another thing they could do if they did remove it, well, actually, not even could do, it's just, if they thought about the adventures, which, honestly, I don't even know if the adventures are even still in the game. I literally have not seen a single adventure ever since, like, the, uh, big removal of content in Beyond Light, so, yeah. <laughs> if they remove a destination that has a lot of, uh, adventures, you might as well keep them out. A lot of people thought they were cool, but, like, I don't know. They'd be cool if it was, like, just the odd missions, but then again, that's what, like, the current seasonal missions are. They're kind of like their own little mini-adventures, you know? And then, obviously, like, the proper campaign pains come with like the big DLCs obviously the next one being Witch Queen in 2022 I was gonna say 2021 <laughs> but I forgot we're in 2021 we're in July yeah let's go but yeah yeah honestly I'm starting to draw a bit of a blank now I can't think of what else I was gonna say so I'm gonna end the video here Guardians thank you Guardians so much for watching this video if you liked it obviously like it comment on some of your thoughts please keep it uh, non toxic as much as possible please and thank you subscribe if you want and hit the bell if you do so desire I hope to also be grinding solstice soon so I can actually make another t-shirt video and get a few hundred views thanks for watching